on to our next mode here, which is kind of an extension of the Creative Superstar. It's a brand new mode, um, and it is our paint tool. And basically what we've added into the game is a paint tool option that you can go in there and you can go ahead and create your own logos, your own tattoos, your own creations, and you can apply these to your Creative Superstar. So this is a, a request that the fans have been asking for to be able to do this. Um, this adds endless opportunities as far as customization. Um, if you want to you know, create a, a certain comic book hero or a certain character and they have a, a logo that's um, uh, you know, a big part of them, you can go ahead and, and go into this uh, paint tool mode and create that logo. Or you can bring your tattoos to life that you have on yourself that you want to put in the game. Um, you can do that as well. Um, so we're going to show you the interface. It's a pretty standard paint tool you find in most programs. Very easy to use in our game. Um, as you see here, you have this palette on the right here, and we have all your typical paint tool options. You know, a pen, an eraser. And you can go ahead and have a fill paint can as well. Um, a lot of possibilities for what you can create. And we've seen some of our, you know, our uh, testers and some of our fans create some really crazy, intense, detailed logos with this. Um, as you can see, we don't have the most talented artists that are doing this, but uh, it, it's just an example of some of the options in the tool. Uh, we actually have a pre-saved one um, on here, so you can see actually a, a, a quality creation using this. So you see here, it's pretty detailed what you can create. Uh, and pretty impressive with this tool, and so we just know the fans are going to kind of go wild with this feature and just be able to create whatever they want as far as tattoos and logos. So now we're actually going to go in and show you how easy it is to apply this to a credit character and some of the cool options we have available with that paint tool. And again, this just is another level, uh, layer of customization options that we want to add and really just make our creation suite extremely robust. Um, so it's very easy to apply. You just pop back in, you create a superstar, um, identify the character that you want to uh, put the logo on, um, and then it's actually going to be right on the logo list, preloaded for you. Very easy. I'm going to slap a T-shirt on him so you can see the logo clearly. Um, and you look at here, right down there is a paint tool data option. You pop in there and you can apply the logo. Um, and you can do anything when you want with this logo. You can rotate it, you can size it, um, you can place it anywhere on the body, um, on the clothing, or on your skin. Uh, tons of options here. And you can just kind of imagine how our hardcore fan base is going to be able to utilize this tool with their creations. So that's the paint tool in a nutshell. Um, very excited to introduce that. We know the fans are going to be pumped about that. We're already seeing on the message boards and talking about it, getting excited about it. So that's very cool. Um, the next uh, feature we want to show you is actually a brand new mode in the game, and it's called Superstar Threads. And for the first time ever, what we're doing is we're allowing users to customize the WWE superstars that are on the roster. Uh, we've never ever allowed this before in the past with the franchise. It's the first time we're doing it, um, and it's a very cool feature. Uh, basically, what you do is you go into the Superstar Threads. <coughs> um, you can select any superstar on the roster, and then we have custom menu set up for each superstar that highlights each of their parts. So we're going to go right into Serio here. He's typically a colorful guy. His outfit changes every week on WWE programming. Um, as you see here, you can go in and change um, every part of his outfit to any color that you want. Um, you can fully customize his outfit. Uh, we break down every single part and allow you to change the color on those parts. Uh, and what's you know, very cool about this feature is that these guys change their costumes all the time on WWE programming. So you get to follow up on that. Um, you get to change those, and you get to save these. And we allow you to save up to three um, alternate tires per superstar. And so with a roster of over 60 guys, there's a ton of um, alternate costumes that you can save for your characters. Um, as you can see here, uh, we also have a, even a, a color wheel where you can you know, pick a certain <coughs> particular color that you want as well. And it gets very, very detailed. Um, you can also create these alternate tires to take them online to show to the rest of the community, show off your creations. Uh, you can use it for uh, offline play and a lot of our other modes. And so we can make these accessible on that. <coughs> uh, we're going to go in and show another superstar now. Um, Grey Mysterio is a pretty typical one where you can see this change quite a bit, but um, if you wanted to uh, express yourself in, in some fun and, and wacky ways, you can take a character like maybe uh, The Undertaker, um, and you can have a little bit of fun with what The Undertaker might look like.
you see no loading, very easy, very quick. Um, and these changes will be reflected throughout the whole game. Uh, we can make a, a pink, a completely pink Undertaker if you want. Um, you can have a lot of fun with these characters. So just another way for our fans to express themselves, uh, to, to alter their universe and their game experience, um, and to have fun with the actual WWE superstars. You know, it's not a huge feature, but it's a small little addition that we like, and we think the fans are gonna like this as well. So now we're gonna pop out of the Superstar Threads feature. Uh, we're gonna show you um, another uh, feature that we actually introduced last year, which was the Create a Finisher. Um, this year we've added to that mode quite a bit. Um, on top of just adding an additional 30% to our creative finisher, the front grapple position, the moves you can do in there, uh, we've actually created a brand new position um, for the creative finisher. Uh, we think the fans are absolutely going to love. It's kind of the next logical step for this mode as far as creating the next uh, move. So here uh, we have diamond attacks that you can create. Um, you might recognize this interface from last year. It's a very e easy interface to use. Um, you can string up to 10 animation parts together to create your move. Uh, we add a lot of different customization options in here to really have fun with this. Um, as you see here, you can pick a lot of different parts. Um, we have hundreds and hundreds of animations in this mode. Um, and for the diamond attacks, you can kind of imagine how crazy we, these can get. We add 360s, flips, all types of crazy stuff. We're going to try to create a really extreme move for you to show kind of how uh, crazy you can get with this uh, creation tool. As you can see, the interface is also extremely easy to use. There's no loading. Um, you just pop to the next animation, add that piece um, right onto the end of it, and move on. And it's extremely easy to put together. It's kind of a focus for us to make all these modes very easy and accessible. So Brian's adding some flips here. We're going to see if we can add a couple more to show you how uh, crazy this can get. I don't think that's enough. I think we maybe need to add another one. Of course, these are extremely realistic. <laughs> uh, what's great, you can choose how you want this, uh, this finisher to land to. If you want it to land on a standing opponent or an opponent on the ground, or if you want it to end in a pin, we have all those options built in as well. Um, and remember, these moves can be, be applied to your credit characters or even the WWE characters, uh, superstars, if you want. You can apply those to uh, those characters as well. Um, you can use these uh, moves online as well to show off your uh, creative finisher creations. Um, we're showing you some new um, options as well. You can uh, increase the height, the distance of your moves as well. So if you want to create one that just kind of goes through the roof sky high, um, you can crank it all the way up there. We'll see how high we can get it. Nice. Let's check this out. Sweet. Uh, we see some pretty uh, crazy moves in this mode. Uh, we're kind of not even scratching the surface with the amount of animations and, and options we have in there. It gets uh, pretty crazy. So you can imagine our fans are going to go kind of nuts for this and you're going to see some crazy stuff online. All right, so that's Creative Finisher. Um, you can also uh, you know, select the name you want for your finisher and our commentators will call that out in the match, which is very cool. Or you can choose, you, know, you just want to name your own original uh, name and let you type that in um, and that name will be used throughout the game. Um, uh, in the menus. So it gives you a little taste of uh, some of our creation uh, options, some of the new additions. Uh, but 